Hello, this is Jerry Odongo, ICT Connect, and today we are going to learn how to design a professional certificate using a Microsoft Publisher. Yeah, so let's go right to it. So the first thing we're going to do is, of course, uh, open up a new file. I'm going to choose A4, A4. A blank F4 landscape but if you want to change the orientation from landscape to portrait you can still come here uh, page design and choose the orientation either portrait or landscape and I think I'm happy with the landscape all right so um, let's dive into it and begin designing so the first thing, uh, let me check my reference. I'll keep on referring to this. So we have um, the background, some uh, cream. I think it's cream. So let me change the background of the actual, um, yes, there. So what do I do to change the background? Still under page design, I'll go to the background and uh, I don't see the cream color here come to more backgrounds uh, I'll go for a solid fill and um, there is this fill icon here something that looks like a bucket click the drop down arrow and choose uh, that okay let me see how it does all right we can go with that but um, not so happy with the color let me see the reference so the reference has a softer color so we are going to make it soft. So come back still, background, more backgrounds. And uh, when you look here, there is no uh, that particular color. So I can go for more colors and try to adjust. Okay, maybe that. Try to make it lighter with the uh, slider. You can see that. So I think I think that is okay and okay and okay. I think that's better. Uh, for the next thing, uh, referring to this picture, yes, we are going to put these uh, designs right here, those shapes. Yes, so come to insert shapes, and we are going for this. Where is it? We are going for this, yes, this, and I'm going to draw a recta, uh, rectangle, not triangle, triangle right there. I think that's okay. And um, shape fill, I'm going to give it that deep blue, that's too deep. I think that's okay. No, not okay. Oh, shape fill. Uh, that's okay, maybe. I'm going to take off the outline. Off. Outline. No outline. And, uh, all right. So I'm going to apply some gradient in it. So come still. Uh, select the shape. Shape fill. Gradient. More gradients. And um, okay, I'm going to edit this color. Uh, choose a, a lighter blue. So let's see how it looks like. So we have um, that kind of gradient. I'm going to duplicate this shape. Control C V. Have two shapes. And I'm going to make it a little smaller by pressing Shift then dragging it down. Okay, uh, let me refer to this design. Um, okay, okay. All right, so maybe this, uh, this is kind of uh, way smaller. Make it smaller like that. And I'm going to give this some gradient too. Come to it shape fill gradient 
more gradients. I want to give it a golden color, uh, some golden shine. So I'm coming here and fill, I think, that. And select that, come, choose some gold. Is that gold? Maybe. And OK. So you can see that we have some nice little golden color that's going. OK. That's okay. okay we'll make this like that. I'm going to duplicate the shape again. Control C V. And um I'm going to make it bigger. Uh, let me check the reference. Alright, some soft blue. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, format, shape fill, I'm going to give it uh, this color, and I'm going to give it some gradient too, gradient, more gradients, uh, this, okay, that's okay, maybe I can change this and give it um, a lighter blue, it's better. And I'm going to select this and come to uh, arrange the arranger uh, group under the format tab. Uh, send to back, send to back. So we have something like this. I'm going to try to adjust everything. To make it super, super. I think that's okay. All right. That's okay, we can do so many things, adjust the gradients, but for now, we can, we can just leave it like that. And, uh, okay, so I'm just going to zoom out to have a clear view of how everything looks like. So we have that uh, design there, and now we are going to make this the the, the border the border for the certificate what do we do insert shape and we are going for a rounded rectangle and I'm um, just going to move it along the margins move it along the margins okay all right I think that's okay and I'm going to uh, give it a fill, white fill. Oh, sorry. Shape fill. Give it white. I think that's nice. Then the outline, I'm going to give it this nice golden uh, uh, shape outline. I can increase its weight. Uh, maybe, I don't know, to three. Okay. Now I'm going to arrange these two shapes. Select, press shift and hold and select the other one. And right, no, sorry. Come to uh, arrange group, bring forward and say, bring to front. So we have that <clears throat> design coming up. And I'm going to select this, press and hold shift, this and this. And I'm going to make a copy of them, Control C, V, and move it. Sorry, I think it didn't work out. Oh, Control Z, Control Z. Okay, first let me align this so that they are well aligned. Select everything by pressing and holding Shift. Come to Align. I'm going to align them to the left. A lot of messed up stuff here. I think this is okay. I have Control Z. I'm going to select this and this. Uh, come to uh, bring forward, bring to front. Okay, that's now okay. 
click, uh, press shift and hold and select these three. I might group them. Group. No. Just going to make a copy of them. Control C G and move that there. And I'm going to rotate them uh, like that. Yeah. So you have that. Select them together by pressing shift, 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 and shift. Um, I'm going to align them, align them to the right, align to top. Okay, so we have that. Select all of them again, shift, 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 and move it right there. Okay, I think that's coming up nice. And I'm going to select the, the uh, lighter triangle and send it back. All right, so we have that. Very nice design, as you see it there. And now what are we going to do is we, yes, we are going to now put the text. So there is uh, this, um, there is this, 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 um, I don't know, star right there. You can replace it with your logo or anything. And um, of course, I'm going to insert it there. So I go to insert uh, shapes. I'm coming for this, any of these. This is what I used. All right, I can go for that. I'm going to press and hold shift to make sure that I have an even shape. Press and hold shift and, sorry, insert shapes. Ah, uh, this. Press and hold shift and make sure I have an even shape. I'll place it right there. Um. Okay. Uh, assuming that's your logo. Let me go for the shape outline. I think I need to remove the outline. I'll give it some uh, darker blue. There. No, no, sorry. So when you make a mistake, my one hand is always uh, close to the control Z to try to correct uh, whatever mistake I'm making. Ah, all right, I'll just go with that. Assuming that's the logo. <clears throat> I'm kind of going to make it smaller. Okay. All right, try to make sure it's centered in the middle. And now what else am I going to do is now to, to put in my text. So I'll go for insert. Um, a text box, you can draw a text box, you can insert from here text box, or you can still come here, shapes, and this text box. And I'm going to put this right there. Try to center it. Okay, still there. And now, since I already have this text typed, I'm just going to copy this. Ctrl C and paste it. Ctrl V. Center it. I think that's okay. And I'm going to make another text box down. Insert. Draw text box. Just going to place it right there. Okay. And I'm going to just copy this text. I already have all this text. Control C. And I'm going to paste it right there. Okay, nice. Just adjust it. 
make sure every single word uh, appears. I think that's okay. Try to align everything to the center, pressing shift, shift, and um, format, align, align center, start the center. This is the center. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to draw uh, a line or a shape. Uh, just something a little like that. Uh, shape outline, remove the shape outline. Okay, I think that's coming out nice. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to insert lines, some lines down here for the sake notary. Shift. Okay, I can just control C V and I move this a little there. Select both of them, align them to top. Yeah, I don't know if that is the middle. Okay, all right. So let's see how our design looks like. Um, how does it look? You can comment in the section and where you feel uh, some improvement, any questions, you can still comment in the section. Um, I think we are done and thank you for watching. Uh, please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for more tutorials like this. I believe this tutorial has been helpful and um, you can share it, share the knowledge with other colleagues so that we are able to save some bucks. You know, sometimes these things you have to do them yourselves. You don't have to spend money uh, going to professional designers when you can use basic tools to come up with something like this. Thank you for watching. God bless you.